Our world is getting warmer. The glaciers in the high mountain ranges and at the poles are melting. There are more and more storms and droughts. We are in a state of worldwide climate change. Actually, it is completely normal for the climate to change. Over the course of geological history, it has been considerably warmer than it is today. For example, in the Carboniferous, or in the age of the dinosaurs. And there were very cold periods. The Ice Ages. So why should we worry about the changing climate now? This climate change is different from all the others before. It is being caused by humans. We like to think of the Earth's atmosphere as a thick protective shell. But in contrast to the massive Earth, it is merely a thin skin of air. Nearly all of it is concentrated in the lower 10 to 15 kilometers. Along with the main constituents, nitrogen and oxygen, the atmosphere contains small amounts of other gases. For instance, water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. They are called greenhouse gases. Without them, it would be as cold here as it is on the Moon. Although solar radiation warms the surface of the Moon, most of the energy is reflected back into space as heat. On the Earth, the atmosphere permits the passage of the visible solar radiation. But the greenhouse gases hold back the reflected heat. Therefore, only a residual amount radiates back into space. The greenhouse gas molecules direct most of the heat radiation back to the Earth, where it heats up the ground. The radiation also causes the gas molecules to vibrate and thus warms up the air. Thus, the greenhouse gases ensure that it is warm enough in the Earth for life to exist. But humans are blowing ever-increasing amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. More heat is reflected back to the Earth and absorbed by the air, and less and less heat escapes into space. Consequently, the air gets warmer and the global climate changes. But where do all of these greenhouse gases come from? Millions of years ago, before there were any humans, there was a great deal of carbon dioxide or CO2 in the atmosphere, and it heated up the Earth thoroughly. Plants snatched the CO2 from the air and flourished in this climate. After these plants died, the carbon stored in them was deposited in the soil. Over a long period of time, the CO2 content of the air thus diminished and large deposits of coal, petroleum and natural gas, the fossil fuels, were formed. For around 200 years, humans have been building machines and factories that extract and burn these fossil fuels. The human population has also grown explosively during this time period. Increasingly, greater numbers of people and machines are consuming increasingly greater amounts of fuel. This means that enormous amounts of CO2 are being blown back into the atmosphere in a short period of time. More people also need more to eat, hence there is more and more agriculture. Along with CO2, the powerful greenhouse gases methane and nitrous oxide are being released by deforestation, fertilization and livestock. The serious consequences of climate change affect all of us, raising sea levels, storms or heat waves. Humans have brought about this climate change, but humans can also stop it. Will you join us?